Hello, how are you? I am Hina from Team Text, and I am here to continue with our question answer discussion for the upcoming GATE exam. As you know, Kalyani Ma'am is starting an online course for GATE. In fact, we have an online quiz program for the same and also an exclusive book to help you crack GATE. For any details, you can contact us on this number on your screen. 9387839871. So let's begin with our today's question answers. The first question is from Literary Criticism. Who said the following about Shakespeare? He holds up to his readers a faithful mirror of manners and life. Option A, Ben Johnson. Option B, Samuel Johnson. Option C, John Milton, or option D, Matthew Arnold. Who spoke this about Shakespeare, that he's holding a faithful mirror of manners in life? Did you get it? Yes, you got it. It is option B, Samuel Johnson. Well, Samuel Johnson wrote this in his book, Preface to Shakespeare. In Preface to Shakespeare, Dr. Johnson has discussed about the excellences as well as the defects of Shakespeare. Okay, good enough? Let's move on to question number two. Another question from literary criticism. Poetry is not a turning loose of emotions, but an escape from emotion. It is not the expression of personality, but an escape from personality. Who commented this? Option A, William Wordsworth. Option B, T.S. Eliot. Option C, Coleridge. Or option D, Joseph Addison. Who spoke about poetry as an escape? Escape from emotion, escape from personality. Who is it? Do you know it? Yes, you know it. You have studied quite well. The answer is option B, T.S. Eliot. Do you remember in which essay he has written this? Tradition and the Individual Talent. Perfect. This essay was published in 1919 and it actually became the basis of the coming critical works for T.S. Eliot and as well as for the other people, right? It was a great work by Eliot, Tradition and the Individual Talent. Okay, let's move on. If you're liking this question and you want to grab a bo book of your own for the GATE exam, you can contact us on 938783987. Okay, let's move on to question number three. This is from American Literature. Which among the following is or are true about Tennessee Williams? Listen to the options carefully. We have to tell what is true about Tennessee Williams. Okay, option A. Tennessee Williams introduced plastic theater. Option B, The Night of the Iguana is a play based on his short story. Option C, he became famous after the publication of The Glass Menagerie, 1944, which is mainly a memory play. Or option D, one of his famous plays is Long Day's Journey into Night. Which options are correct for Tennessee? Did he introduce plastic theater? Is Night of Iguana based on his short story? Did he become famous after the Glass Menagery, which is a memory play? Or did he write Long Day's Journey into Night? He did not write Long Day Journey into the Night. The correct answer is A, B, C. The first three options are correct and the last one is wrong because Long Day's Journey into Night was written by another American playwright, Eugene O'Neill. Yes. Did you get it? Is it perfect? Yes. Can we move on? Okay, let's move on to question number four. Nobel Prize winners, you have to know because definitely questions do come from this. Which Nobel Prize awardee wrote The Red-Haired Woman? which is mainly about trauma. Option A, Orhan Pamuk. Option B, J.M. Kodzi. Option C, Kazuo Ishiguro. 
Or option D, Alice Munro. Who among these is a Nobel Prize awardee? Who wrote The Red-Haired Woman? You got it right. It is option A, Orhan Pamuk. But Pamuk, as you know, is a Turkish writer and he was awarded Nobel Prize for Literature in 2006. The Red-Haired Woman was published in 2016. Yes. Did you get it? Now, the last question is, again, of a Nobel Prize awardee, T.S. Eliot. Do you remember when was T.S. Eliot? When did he receive the Nobel Prize for Literature? In which year? 1948. Yeah, perfect. Let's listen to the question now. What was the plan of Edward and his wife Lavinia in the cocktail party by T.S. Eliot? Option A, considering renewing their vows. Option B, preparing to have a child. Option C, preparing to move out of state. Or option D, going through a tough time leading to divorce. What do you think? What do you think is the theme of the cocktail party? What do you think Edward and Lavinia, they're discussing? What is their plan? Well, it is. It is divorce. Remember the pathetic human condition? Going through a tough time leading to divorce. That is correct. That is. Okay, perfect. I hope you understood the questions. I hope you got the answers. Even if you did not, so what? We're discussing it here. You can learn as much as you want to from my sessions, from all our sessions from Team Tests, right? And if you want your own copy of this exclusive practice test question book for GATE, if you want an online course with us or an online quiz program with us, you can contact us on this number, 938783971. This was Hina and it was great teaching you. I'm going to come again soon with more question answers like this. Bye. Take care. Have a good day.